Hi, beautiful. As you may or may not know, I did Charlie D'Amelio's hair about a month ago. Me doing that look on Charlie definitely sparked a lot of people to do it after. Not that I was the first person to do that look. I'm sure it was done a long time ago. Here are just some of the wonderful things that I've seen on Instagram of people recreating the Charlie look. I'm obsessed with all the looks I've been seeing and all the different color variations. And not only have I seen stylists doing it on their clients that have asked for the Charlie look, but I've also seen people doing it themselves, which is possible, but not that easy. So let's see if these girls can pull off the Charlie D'Amelio wrap around money piece on their own hair at home. Let's do it. Our first video today is by a girl named Tyler, and this is dyeing my hair like Charlie, but it doesn't turn out anything like hers. Good. We needed to fail today, honestly. Hey everyone, so today I'm dyeing my hair. I'm gonna do something like Charlie's hair. This is Charlie's hair, but hers is pink, and I'm gonna do like a silvery purple. So she's trying to do a silvery color um, instead of the pink, which is scary because, well, you have to lighten your hair very light in order to do his silver, so I feel like that's not gonna happen, and that's where the fail goes. And this is my natural hair color. This is the top. But at the bottom, it's kind of like faded. It's so pretty. Your natural is gorgeous. I got jet black dye for my head. And then for like the strand around like my head, this one, this lilac. I finished parting it, you know. It's kind of like a cute hairstyle, you know. This sectioning, I would have definitely done more hair. This is a very small amount of hair for this look. I went up literally halfway on the bag. But you know, we can adapt the style to whatever we're feeling. Maybe she wasn't feeling that. You know, maybe it was too much. Now her hair started to slowly fall out. <laughs> look at the top. Look how funny that looks. It looks good. We haven't done the roots yet because we, we're probably going to wash this out first. The only thing about Charlie's hair that I was kind of upset about was that I didn't get to bleach her roots. And I wrote in my video that we ran out of time and that is true. And things couldn't happen exactly the way I wanted them to. I still think it looked dope, but kind of sad we didn't get to do it all. My hair is like super, super dark, as you can see. It's almost black. So like getting it to like blonde or like really light in one go is really hard. But you can see it literally fell out like huge chunks just fell. no how did they manage to demolish it in one bleaching what the f happened it's really orange because my hair is so dark but we're just gonna put the other color on top of it and hope for the best yo you need to get a really 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 light pale yellow in order to do that your hair is orange let it sit longer on the root maybe because that wasn't long enough clearly my hair was just super boring i don't know i just didn't like brown like it just didn't fit me it just didn't express me the way i wanted it to i love this we love using color to express who we are. That is what my new brand, X Mondo Color, is all about. You can shop them down below at xmondocolor.com. Oh, by the way, my hair is colored using my own hair color, super blue. If you would like this color, you can shop it down below. Here's a little bit of a... No! No! Is it good? This is going from bad to worse, to baddest, to badderest, to the worst thing I've ever seen. She just got black hair dye all over the section she had bleached previously. Yo, you're gonna have spots all over your head. I don't want that for me and I don't want it for you. A little bit of bleach with developer. We're putting more bleach on it. And shampoo. Oh my God, this is really crazy. I almost dumped this all out. Can we put gloves on? Please work, please work, please work. It's not just gonna come out right away. She's literally bleaching that section again to get the black out. I kind of want to watch old Disney movies. Do you ever get in like that mood where you just want to like binge childhood movies? Um, it's turning blue everywhere. It didn't turn purple. <laughs> okay, it turned like a green blue. Yeah, why is it green? Oh, that's right, because your hair was orange before you put it on. I want to see it dry. The hair looks so good. I love it. It's a little brassy at the top. A little. But I love it a lot. I think it looks super good. Okay, let's unpack this. So definitely wasn't perfect. Definitely you look way better. I will say I love the hair color on you. It definitely brings out who you are on the inside. You're literally glowing so much more and you look like you're having so much more like fun in your life. I'm getting vibes after she colored her hair of like her just being so happy. Hair color can really do a lot for you. And also please bleach out those orange sections again. And then let's do like a color instead of that gray. Ugh. 
gray, like do pink. Come on, do pink. Super pink, actually. Shop the link down below. That will look so fire on you. Come on, you need color. And also like part out more hair. You need more hair. You need more of the lighter hair down below. You know, there's not enough. We need more of that. Give us everything. Give us more, more, more. More is more in this situation. I like that you feel so much more confident in this color. And I think it's much better than what you started with, to be honest with you, so. Well, not great job, but like decent job. <laughs> the next video is by Estelvina Lou, and this is called Dying My Hair Like Charlie D'Amelio. Let's check it out. <laughs> Here I'm splitting my hair because I want to do a peekaboo on the bottom horizontal half, and then we are going to add the bangs into it a little bit later. Okay, so she's doing it a bit different than how I did it. I definitely did a section that was all the way around and not just the bottom and the money pieces, because when Charlie lifts up her hair, I wanted it to all be really bright and her to have a lot of fun with it in that way. And I feel like it's more versatile in that way if she can have it up and have it all pink or have it down and have it be dark. Gave it a little like versatility, it was fun. Take the very front sections of your bangs and try to do almost like a halo effect. So far, the sectioning is looking phenomenal. I'm super excited about this look. I feel like she's gonna nail it. And then I tried to copy the same thing and make it symmetrical on the other side. What is that in the front? It's supposed to all be connected. As you can see here, I undid the other side because I had a few hairs that were sticking out that I needed to put back up. She definitely should have taken more hair on that side of her head. That way when she lifts it up, it's all pink or whatever color she's gonna do. This way, it's not gonna be as connected as I did it on Charlie. I'm gonna be taking the Splat Lightning Bleach box and I decided to use this because it was simple and at the store and 10 bucks. And also I didn't need to really bleach my hair that much just because the color we were putting over it would color everything. That is a blue lightener. I don't know what they put in that thing. Wow, that is blue, blue, blue. This part is probably the easiest part ever. You just bleach all the- And it's like liquid. To bleach. Here I made sure to- How does that work? The bottom, but I made sure to saturate everything and brush the bleach through my hair so that it take a lot more. <laughs> And then I put our plastic Walmart bag over my head so it could incubate it. Oh my God, I love you. So she said, I didn't put on the roots because I knew it would go faster on the roots. And she said, I'm about to brush this all through, which is fine in this situation. And she did, so she got on every single hair strand and she said she fully saturated. Oh. Baby. And she said she's gonna incubate it with a bag on her head. This is the best day of my life. I love to see it. This is what my hair looked like with the first uh <laughs> exactly as I would have figured because like I said, I had a lot of red tones in my hair so that's why there's that deep orangey there and then obviously towards the yeah. more yellow. I decided that I wanted to try something to make it just a tad bit lighter. Definitely make it lighter. I mean girl, unless you want to do red or orange around your head, then this is not going to be light enough. If you used foils, it would have been way easier and it would have not looked like this and you would have gotten it done in one round. So that's when I got out my handy L'Oreal Episol pack. It, it just helped that brownish orange lighten a tad bit and then obviously the yellow lightened up to an even brighter yellow. Okay, so it's been a very long time since I've used Color Remover, so I'm not like the best person to ask about it. I never really was like super fond of Color Remover. I'm pretty sure you can't use Color Remover after you've already lightened the hair with bleach. I think it's probably light enough. If she dries this, it'll probably be a lot lighter. Pravana Chroma Silk. And she's doing a very dark color, so this will be good. I used this before actually and I just love the color. This is gonna look f sick. Okay guys, so this is <laughs> color. I actually really, really love. Oh my God. The little color peeking out. She did an incredible job. I like that you can see it underneath. This was a really cool style that I saw on Charlie D'Amelio that I thought was even better than just the plain peekaboo underneath. It gave a bit more. And so I attempted to do it myself before even seeing Brad Mondo's video. And I feel like I actually did really, really well. You did so good. But I really love how this turned out. Yo, I'm shocked. This looks so good. This color has been washed probably three times now in the shower with regular shampoo and conditioner and it's maintaining really, really well. I love the color she chose, that kind of plummy purple pink. Oh my God, it's fire with her natural hair color. It looks so good. I mean, girl, you could have not slayed this any harder. This is a complete 12 out of 10, like off the scale perfection. Woo! Woo, 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 woo
You did an amazing job. Next video is by Jules, and this is called I Trim Myself into Charlie D'Amelio Hair Dye Fail. I went to Sally's, I cracked out, and I got some hair dye. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. My hair is blue at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. Oh God, this is not gonna come out. Blue at the bottom, previously lightened hair. What I bought at Sally's was a semi-permanent color cream neon purple. Semi-permanent midnight blue. Gonna be doing like a half half. Bring up my lighter pieces up here. I'm gonna bring it up by doing some lightener, little e-girl. I went to beauty school and I dropped out a week before graduating. So I have a week before. Oh, so my expectations for this just went way higher. I got this lightener that I haven't used before. It's the Argan Oil Powder Liner with 20 volume developer. I'm pretty okay. Excited. I know that what I need to do is use 20 volume because I got that dark hair. Uh, I would use 30 on you for some pretty dark hair. So I don't know if that's gonna get light enough with 20 volume. So I'm not gonna get it directly on my root first because I'm not a freaking crackhead and I don't have foil, so. I love that. I'm not gonna get it right on my root first because I'm not Okay. So she's doing it a bit different. She's just doing the underneath section and the front pieces, but not connected together, which is like, makes me sad. Cause I don't know, the whole coolest part about it is that they're all connected around your head. This is not gonna get light enough. It's just not, it's not gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Wow, I understand why people do this when they're depressed. It's fun. Ooh, yes, that's a lot of lightener. I came back in and I resaturated the rest of my hair. I looked and I was like this not fully saturated, so I came back. I'm still gonna come back. It's gonna look dope. And that is such great saturation. I'm so impressed. We're getting lighter, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Brad Mondo, if you're listening, anyone else, if you're listening, I got a lot of an explaining to do. Yeah, can you start? What this is telling me is my black is still here. Yeah. And she's not left. Yo, that didn't lighten at all. So now she's coloring the underneath of her hair blue, I think, without lightening it first which I don't know if it's gonna show up a lot on her black hair. I mean, no, it's not, but this is going from bad to worse. I'm not gonna lie. So now we're doing the, the bang section purple. I like the creativity and the thought. I just don't think the execution is at all there. I just wanted to inform y'all that I was born. What in the hell? Get it off of your skin. You're gonna be stained forever. I got it all over my soul. This is insane. I've never seen anybody get color on themselves that badly. Hopefully tomorrow. This looks cute because I'm not feeling this like pink vibe, but I'm also feeling this pink vibe. I hope this isn't a fail video. <laughs> it's a fail video. This is not what I was going for. I would hope not. I don't know how to explain to y'all how pink this is and the fact that I really am not living my e-girl moment. I actually like the color variation going on. So tonight I'm going to probably put blue over the front of it and we're going to figure it out in this bright pink Charlie D'Amelio who moment is not for me. The dark blue didn't even, it, it, my hair is black. Like what the f Well girl, that was the ultimate fail of the day. Whoa, okay, yeah, nothing really went right for you, did it? You really let me down, especially as a cosmetologist that did not graduate, but did go to cosmetology school. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe just stick with the black hair. I do like you with color. I just think it needs to be well executed in order for you to wear it. Next time use 30 volume, use foils, and it'll go a lot better. And stop dyeing your hair black. Well then, that was an adventure. At least one girl really slayed my existence so hard. She did such an incredible job. That gave me life today. The other two, not so much. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the like button and the bell icon to stay notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me everywhere else. Here is my social social media handles, ooh, they're everywhere. If you guys would like this super blue color or super pink or super purple, you can now shop my hair color right down below at xmondocolor.com. You can also find xmondo hair on Instagram and xmondohair.com to shop hair products and xmondo color on Instagram. So follow us there too. We'll be releasing new colors all the damn time. So keep up with us. Make sure you guys text me at this number. Yes, it is really my number. Yes, I really do see all your texts. And yes, I'll be answering a few of you guys right now if you text me. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ito. She says, hi, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, hi. Can you help me? I wanna make a change in my appearance. Um, I don't know what color I should dye. Black or platinum, what do you think? I think you shouldn't do platinum or black. I think you should do super purple. I don't know, I'm feeling it. It's a vibe, it will look so good on you. Trust me, do it. It'll look bomb. If you do it, I would love to see it. Send me a picture. 
Thank you. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>